not as fit as I used to be. The wall bag. When I was fighting, I didn't really like to use these. I thought they were a bit boring compared to a heavy bag where it's moving and you can move around. Now I think it's such a good tool in a gym if you've got one. Also, if you're working out at home, you see my earlier video about how to box a tree. You could use a tree like this, just tying some pattern to it. What I love about this thing is you can visualize your opponent's actions when you hit him. Meaning, if I hit my opponent with the uppercut, what's he going to do? I'm there, someone hits me with the uppercut, I'm going to put my hands together, which leaves you open for where? Exactly, down the bottom there. So I can do that. <laughs> Touching it in, whacking that body in. Now from there, I can think, what would his action be if I hit him with a body shot? It could be this to try and defend it. So if his hands come down, then I can come over there. So the combination will go to... And as well, if you've done this, blocking that body shot, he's kind of opening the center there. So another combination I could do would be the uppercut hook the body. He's opening the center because his elbows come down. From there, now I can back foot, front foot, step out, change the angle and hit him there. So the combination would look like this. Then we can even add on to that from there. Now I know it's getting a bit unrealistic right now. You're not going to land this many punches on your opponent. But it's good to visualize it and it's good to practice it. So you get in the habits of doing these movements. So now I've hit him there. His hands have dropped. I would hit him over there with the right hand. I would come up with the uppercut. So again, I went well, there, stepped across, there, a short right hand there. <laughs> now from there, I've hit him there. Yes, we're going to add on to that. So I've hit him with the right hand and the side of the head. He's facing that way. Open for there. Let's add on to this combination. So we've went uppercut, hook the body, side step, hook the body again, midsection, right hand, left hook the head. Now I'm going to do that a bit faster. Yes, great combo. Now from there, we can continue to add on, putting the uppercut in. Another hook there, hook there. There, 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 there. We can add on so many different ways. What I'm going to show you is right now, because I've practiced stuff like that, when I freestyle on the wall bag, I can move around, change angles and do stuff without even thinking about it. So here's a little example of some freestyle that I would do on a wall bag. And I'm going to start off with that combination. <laughs> I'm not as fit as I used to be. Woo! As you can see, great tool. Get a great workout with a wall bag. Like I said on my earlier video, use a tree, put a cushion around it. Do what you've got to do to get these workouts in. If you enjoyed that video, got any questions about that, please let me know in the comments below and I will answer.